Hey guys, welcome back to Gacha Gacha Topics. This is episode two. Uh, and first of all, thank you so much for the support and the comments and likes on our first episode. Uh, it was really nice to see, it was really motivating, and so. We really enjoyed making the video as yeah, well. Yeah, it was really fun. So we're back with uh, another episode. And today, what are we talking about? We are going to talk about vending machines. Vending machines, yes. A super common aspect of Japanese culture. Uh, I mean, you look out this window and you're going to see a vending machine. Uh, they're pretty much on every corner. Like literally every <laughs> yeah. corner. You cannot miss it. Yeah. Okay, so for today's episode, uh, what we're going to show and just explain some of the basic uh, everyday vending machines that you'll find. Also, some unique ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we ventured out into different parts of the city, so we'll talk about some of the, like, the cities that we went to as well. So. Right. So, before we go any further, we first want to talk a little bit about the history that we learned yeah. about vending machines here. Just a little bit. We're not experts or anything. <laughs> we learned it through YouTube. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, like, how long do you think vending machines have been? <laughs> you know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> it was about 120 years 120 ago. 120 years ago. This is like in the last episode we explained like it was like uh, the gumballs came into New York at like the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. It's about the same time actually. And so the very first vending machine in Japan was like this wooden box that would dispense alcohol. And you put in a coin and then you would get like a certain amount of alcohol dispensed. Right. The top opens and then yeah. closes. Yeah. <clears throat> and so then like a couple decades later they started to introduce stamps and postcards. And then from there, uh, I think Coke was introduced in the early 60s. Right, right after war? Yeah, like well, war. it wasn't right after, but it was like, you know, a well, decent war. amount of time afterwards. Like, it was all like bottled Coke. Mm -hmm. And from there, they started to introduce all these different other, like, cigarettes and all these other products. Right. So, yeah. so, that was a little bit about the history. Yeah, just a <laughs> I hope you learned something. <laughs> So let's start with uh, what we found. We are yeah. going to start talking about the basic vending machines yeah. first. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So let's get into it. All right. Okay. So this is the very basic vending machine. Um, coins, bills, a uh, thousand yen bill, which is about 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're selecting water right now, yeah. but they serve cold and hot drinks. Yeah. Usually just cold drinks during the summer, but during the winter, they have a lot of hot yeah, drinks Yeah, which is well. awesome. Sorry, TV. Uh, this is the IC card placeholder where you could just tap it and you could get a drink. Mm -hmm. In terms of, instead of holding money, you just use that. The most common one is the one for the train. Mm -hmm. And uh, you pay for your train fare with that and you can, you know, you use it at the convenience store. Pretty much whatever. anywhere. Yeah, it's really nice. And this is the uh, cigarette machine. Mm -hmm. And it's a little different. It takes an ID card. Uh, and I don't see anywhere that says IC chip on it. So I'm just assuming it still takes that government issued ID card that you have to apply for. And then, Over 20. Yeah, and then you buy your cigarettes with that. When I first got here, this didn't exist, so you could just buy cigarettes straight out of the machine. Right. <laughs> it's like three bucks a box. Mm -hmm. That's about five. Five, okay. yeah. So it's just like this. Uh, vending machines are everywhere. Yeah. And they sell uh, water, green tea, sports drink, coffee, carbonated drinks, like pretty much whatever you can imagine is there. Yeah. And this is a, kind of like a slot machine. Once you buy a drink, uh, the number starts rolling. <laughs> if you get four of the same numbers, yeah. then you get another free drink. Yeah, it's, I've never won. No, me neither. <laughs> it's always three of the same number and one's different. I know. Fully digital machine. Yes, this is a fully digital one. This is another one that's a fully digital. It was humongous. Yeah. It's like a huge Android phone. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, it even has the time, the yeah. date, the weather, yeah. the temperature, everything. When it <laughs> first was introduced, it, it had a camera that would scan your face mm -hmm. and it would recommend drinks depending on what your age and right. your, your, or, your body type was. Right. And stuff. If you look really tired, they might recommend you Red Bull. Yeah. I don't know if it still exists. Maybe it's a privacy issue. Well, we kind of tried to look for it, yeah, but we one. couldn't find it. Uh, this is just a normal vending machine, but I just wanted to show you that it's on pretty much every platform of the train station. So we went to Akihabara. Akihabara. Yes. Can you tell us what the city is? <laughs> it's uh, uh, older part of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be sort of a black market for different sort of, uh, I think probably. American goods and stuff in the past, uh, and then it turned into more of like an electronics uh, 
market. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted like some spec uh, specific transistor or, or some sort of chip, you could go and you can find exactly what you want. Uh, and then it slowly turned into sort of a nerd capital of, uh, of Tokyo. So, like anime. Yeah, like comics and comics, figures. Right. And, and right. right now it's about, it's kind of an interesting mash of both, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's still those elements of that black market and, and small computer parts store uh, aspect of it. But then there's also that huge sort of pop culture uh, thing that has taken over. So uh, it's a really part of, interesting part of the city. Well, if you're looking for any kind of electronic gadgets, yeah. you have to get yeah, to yeah, Gihara. We'll it's probably find it there. It's a really interesting place to go. So, uh, we googled and found an interesting vending machine area. Yeah. And this is the little footage yeah. that we took, yeah, so check, check it, out. it out. So now here we are. We got to this location behind that popular restaurant, or famous restaurant. Yeah. This, these are the vending machines that are placed here. Pretty nondescript, these ones. Yeah. This is unusual, okay? This isn't a normal vending machine. Yeah. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. Video tips? I don't know. It has weird descriptions. Yeah. It's kind of creepy, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's go in there. Oh, you go first, because okay. I'm taking the video. <laughs> it's very tight. So what's there? It's like a weird smorgasbord. Is this fruit? Hold it. Drinks. Oh, it says here. This is not a toilet. Please do not piss and shit. That was like a really unique yeah. vending machine. So you'll never really find those, find those anywhere. <laughs> I think it was just that specific location. Yeah. Right. It, it was interesting. I don't know why it was so famous or high on Google's search. Uh, I don't know. This, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, the next part of our show, we're gonna uh, show you guys some of the interesting vending machines that we found throughout Tokyo. Well, yeah. a couple of places that we went to. Yeah. So let's check them out. Yeah. First... Uh, I mean, they're pretty unique to us too, so I think it'd be kind of interesting to yeah. show everybody. Okay. Yeah. Start? Sure. Okay. So the first one that we found was a at-home PCR testing yeah. vending machine. Yeah. It's very in the moment. Yes. This would have never happened before COVID. <laughs> uh, it's about 3,000 yen, which is uh, $30, $30 US uh, per kit. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not good enough for air, like traveling or anything but, no I don't uh, think it's valid yeah. like documented just, validation if you want to make sure that you're not sick then just take it right, right. which is kind of cool yeah I mean if you have any doubt right just yeah. go here and get it okay so the next one is the Pokemon trading card yep. vending machine uh, to be honest I don't know how popular this is however, <laughs> obviously it's very popular yeah, well, well, however <laughs> Uh, we did see so many stores. Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Just Pokemon stores. If they're having a resurgence now or something, but there was a Pokemon specific trading card store. Right. Yeah. And there was a huge I line know, a to huge enter line. <laughs> the store. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's huge. <laughs> um, okay, let's go on to the, the next, next one. one. Uh, this AI communication. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably just an iPad stuck to a uh, right, machine. which wasn't really responding very well. <laughs> no, but it does show like t yeah. this week's ranking, like what yeah. was popular. And she was like 
talking to us too, right? Right. And as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, yeah. they have a little microphone button yeah. and you can actually talk to it just, just like Siri. Yeah, we tried but it, was, it wasn't no, responding. No, it didn't work. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> good try. I'm, yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's going to get better. It's, the only, the, it's only the beginning, right? <laughs> okay, so the next one is an ice cream vending machine. Mm -hmm. This isn't very unique. We would find it in different parts of the city. Mm -hmm. It's not as common as drink vending machines, yeah. but yeah, they have a lot of different flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, most of the times I see these in the train station, mm -hmm. um, but probably... Have you noticed this during winter? The ice cream? Yeah. Is it there? I don't, I don't think they around? would move it. It's, it's permanently there. Okay, so the next one I found was this... Uh, Toys. Toy? Yeah. I, I don't know if they're toys. Like, it's pretty I don't... much just gacha but in vending machine form. Right and it's very random like uh -huh. as you can see they're very random on yeah. toys yeah. and it's I think it's more towards adults. Yeah well right? my theory is that you know the people that take the train pretty much take it every day mm -hmm. so they're passing that vending machine right. area every day. And this is just an assumption mm -hmm. but we I feel like it alters every month so it's like yeah. a collecting thing. yeah yeah they're forcing you to like buy one and then buy the rest right and then keep <laughs> filling it with new things and so then you're stuck buying everything right. i mean i would do it <laughs> um the next vending machine that i found uh wasn't unique in that they only sold coffee however the machine itself was just uh -huh. like a coffee can yeah, cool. so that's why i took it's a, like picture. a novelty vending machine mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, those were kind of uh, just a small selection of things that we found. Uh, there's so many more. Like, uh, there's times that you walk, you're walking around and you see something and it's just like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was just a small taste of what you could find. So. Yeah, in the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next part of our uh, video uh -huh. is our very own. Yeah nothing to do with popularity or anything like that uh this is a top three yeah. vending machine that we found and thought it was interesting and it's very very japanese culture vending machine i would say yeah japanese specific yeah vending very machines. japanese specific so yeah. let's check them out here we go number three right so number three <laughs> rice Everybody loves rice. We cannot live without rice. <laughs> and this kind of vending machine has been around. Yeah, it's pretty old school. Right. And I have a feeling this vending machine was more popular back in the day when supermarkets weren't so common in, yeah, you like, know. Yeah, they, they didn't have 24 hours. No, they didn't you know? have yeah. that so, many yeah. uh, I remember these outside of uh, yeah, the supermarkets at my grandma's place. Mm -hmm. And then you would go. You put in your money and it's like mm -hmm. you know, this huge bag of full of <laughs> I've never tried it, yeah. but uh, this was outside a rice shop actually, right down the street from us. And rice shops used to be more common here, but like we said, uh, they sell rice at a supermarket now. Yeah. So most people buy them at the supermarket, not the actual rice store. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this isn't a very old vending machine. I don't know how yeah. often people use it nowadays. Yeah, so. I'm impressed that they've maintained it so mm -hmm. well that it's mm -hmm. you know still in use. But, uh, so bag of rice, ten bucks. Yeah. And the other ones, other ten bucks. Yeah. Nice. Number three. Okay. Number two. Number two. This is what I found mm -hmm. um, near our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. This is placed in front of a ramen restaurant. Mm -hmm. And like as you can see, they sell frozen ramen, yep. but it's it's very random here again yep. because they sell pig's feet, pig's feet and, and uh, horse sashimi. Yes, horse sashimi. <laughs> and they're all frozen. Yeah. And I'm assuming this vending machine was placed after COVID when. Oh yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. We couldn't really go to restaurants at one point. Yeah. So a lot of frozen vending machine has been going around yeah. and this is one of the vending machines that I found. Ramen restaurants have to survive, right? Uh -huh. so. And you know, they're not cheap. They're, they're, the price is about 800 yen, which is about $8. Yeah, it's about the same price as buying ramen in the store. Yes, actually eating it in yeah. a restaurant. So I don't know the quality, I haven't tried it, but I am willing to. Right. <laughs> it's just a part of the whole like delivery Uber system. And this way you can just get it on your own. 
Right. Okay. And even if the, after the restaurant closes at, I think, 8 or 9. Yeah, days. it's been closing at 8 for a long time. Right. Now, so. so people who are coming back from work, yeah. you know, get off the train at like, let's say 10 p.m. Yeah. Buy ramen. Ramen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one. Number one. <laughs> dashi. Yes. <laughs> this is a dashi vending machine, which is broth. Yep, it's the backbone of Japanese cooking. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much used in everything. Right. Uh, so you can't, you know, can't have Japanese cooking without. Yeah, we, I mean, we do use like chicken broth, veggie broth, but this, yeah. this particular broth that's made from fish. Yeah. I think that's the most yeah. popular one. Soba, udon, uh, miso soup. Yeah, like uh, stewed dishes. Everything uses dashi. So. Yes. So this is a vending machine. It is a concentrated, concentrated broth. Yeah. So we do dilute it with water when in use. Yep. Yeah. How you know what? I've I've seen these at a couple of places. Now. Yeah, I know. We were walking around the other day. Right. And I saw some. Uh, and this wasn't really common. So. Mm, no. But like there's so there's three kinds there. I see like the flying fish mm -hmm. on the top, and then there's. Uh, mackerel, mm -hmm. and then I think uh, the last one is kombu. Mm -hmm. so, so the seaweed broth. Yeah, it says, do not drink yeah, this. It's a vending machine. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I dare you to try yeah, it. <laughs> so if you're in a rush, just pick this up. Yep. Yeah. We did buy one. It was good. Yeah, yeah. We've been using it yeah. at home. Yeah. So those were the top three uh, <laughs> vending machines. Our top three. Yes, our top three. <laughs> Nothing to do with popularity. No, no, no. <laughs> So yeah, we have a one last bonus clip for you guys. Um, I think you might find this interesting. Right, this uh, was a mixture of gacha gacha from our last topic yeah. and vending machines. Vending machine. So check it out. <laughs> yeah. So this is a thousand yen vending machine, and it's like a vending machine plus gacha gacha, right? Yeah. You don't know what you're gonna get. It's usually junk, <laughs> but we'll try it anyway. Like one too? No, it's okay. You try it. It's mm. one dream, a thousand yen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Which one are you gonna press? I don't know. There's no numbers or anything, is it? This is completely random. Nani, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you get? Tokyo 2020! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Sucked up my thousand yen bill. Yeah. Mm, nobody's pressing the top ones, right? Yeah. Tokyo 2020! <laughs> <laughs> nice. You got your own bag. 2020. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was a very interesting machine and... I wanted a PlayStation. <laughs> Tokyo 2020! Look what I got! An awesome bracelet! <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of these left Oh yeah, there's probably <laughs> right. like millions of these things that <laughs> the tourists weren't here to buy. So right. yeah. I mean, I, I do think it's worth around a thousand yen. I would say so. Yeah, they price pointed it really well. Yeah. So I mean, I don't think we lost any money. However, we didn't want these. We wanted the PlayStation <laughs> or like the Switch. I wanted these. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So. Thank you again for watching, yeah. and please like and subscribe. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see you guys next time. Yes. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.